I would like to show you how we can do 3D tessellation in SketchUp. First, we're going to draw a line segment. I made it 30 millimeter long. Let's rotate this like so. Uh, 30 degrees. And now we select this line and copy it and place it end to end. And let's zoom out a little bit and let's rotate it uh, horizontally like so. Uh, I'm rotating it uh, 30 degrees. Now select these two line segments and we rotate this the same way. So uh, in this case, I'm going to rotate uh, the copy um, 60 degrees, 30 plus 30. So we have a continuous rotation of uh, 30 degrees per line segment. Now we continue this uh, until we are satisfied. Uh, I'm going to repeat this over and over again. Um, again, it's up to you uh, how many copies uh, you're going to create. I want to create a spiral effect. Uh, that's why I'm creating uh, more and more. Um, again, we just uh, rotated that 120 degrees. And now we rotate this 240 degrees. Just you can actually uh, type in 240 and press enter and it's done. If you look at this, you can see it's a spiral. Now, we're going to move this away from the origin. Uh, pretend this is part of, uh, um, of a vase, the outside. And we're going to create the shell that goes around this object. Now to do that, we're going to do one section of that shell. So I'm going to copy and rotate this. So I press the control key when I uh, rotated that. I rotated 30 degrees. You can do that uh, uh, 60 degrees, uh, 120, whatever you like. Now I'm going to stitch these two copies together by going um, drawing line segments in a zigzag fashion to create uh, these facets. So you can see that uh, this is a fraction of the shell, the outer shell of this uh, vase. So it's, it only covers 30 degrees. So a circle is 360 degrees. So if I copy this 12 times, I should get uh, um, the outside covered completely. So I completely tessellate the outside of the shape. Um, so I'm going to use the rotate tool, press the control key, I use the origin as I my center of rotation. And as, as, as I copy that, you can see it matches perfectly because it's rotationally repeated. So 360 slash 12, and that gives me 12 copies and it, it copies, uh, it completes the outer shell, except for the top and the bottom, but you can, um, bridge those by uh, using the line segment tool and and now I'm going to turn that into a component and you can see it's a solid component so it's 3D printable um, so that it's uh, done I can color it if I want to and remember it doesn't have to be this shape it could be any shape 
you want it uh, you can vary the uh, the degrees the line segment and um, the distance from the origin to make a different shape thank you so much for watching